Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2. So today is the big day, we're finally going to go on vacation and Lucy and Jack are right now waking up. It's almost 6 in the morning and we are also on the very first day of summer, so that means that we've almost been playing with these guys for an entire sim year. I think it's the first time in a while that that has happened to me, so I'm pretty excited about that. Jack needs to take a shower to be in a good mood. Lucy... Lucy is feeling pretty much amazing. Let's have her go on a hike because that's something that she wants. She's not going to take Diego because Diego is right now sleeping. Also, Jack taught Diego to sit up yesterday as I was taking care of Diego's needs and his social need especially because this one seems to be going down pretty quickly. Also, something that I've realized is that Diego has only eight days until he becomes an elder. I did not realize that he was that old. That's really sad, but I mean, after all, we've been playing with these guys for almost an entire sim year, so... It's been a few days, and I actually did not even check. Okay, so Jack has 22 days until he becomes an elder, and Lucy has 22 days as well. Alright, so Jack, how do you feel? Maybe you can use the toilets and, of course, clean the bowl and fill the bowl. How is the garden, by the way? Oh, Lucy needs to take care of the garden. Also, something that I should get would be... where is it? It's the... the ladybug house. This one. Because the, the ladybugs actually keep the, the insects away. Let's go and tend many, water many, and we need to spray this one. Okay, so what is this? Okay, I'll be right over. Okay, so this is the nanny who's going to come and look after Diego while we are away. And then the airport shuttle will be arriving in about an hour. Hey, there are no kids here. I'm sorry, but I'm leaving. Are you kidding me? There's a dog. I hope we won't have any issues with Diego staying here because the nanny just left. Okay, I'll be right over. What is going on right now? And where's the shuttle? Have I done something wrong here with those vacation because the shuttle is late? At least the garden is doing pretty okay. I think the ladybugs are taking care of this plant. I don't think the shuttle is arriving. Is it? Is it because the nanny left? Or are we stuck in a loop? Okay, so now the nanny is staying. And where is the shuttle? Oh, there you go. The shuttle is here. Well, they're late. We we're supposed to be here at 8. All right, it's time to go on vacation. Look at them with their, with their suitcases. All right, so here we are in Twiki Island. Now we need to choose the hotel at which we're going to stay. There is the Blossom Mood Hotel. So this, this one, the Butter House Bungalows, is the one that I usually go to. But I would like to go to maybe a more fancy type of hotel. This one doesn't really look fancy at all. I'm really curious about this hotel, but I think you can change hotel. Otherwise, there's this one, but what I like about this one is that there's a pool. Or there's this one. This one is quite pricey. How about this one? Oh, this one actually isn't that pricey. Is it because it's not just next to the beach? This one has almost its, its own private beach, so maybe that's why it's a bit more expensive. Well, you know what? We had the wish with the genie and we earned 10,000 simoleons without really doing anything. And in any case, they're making quite a bit of money from their career. So let's go to the Twiki, Twiki Beach Hotel. Welcome to our hotel. Please pick one of one or more suits by selecting their doors. Then click on the hotel desk to check in. All right, so let's see. Do we want to go upstairs or do we want to stay here? Look at this view with the beach and all. This is so pretty. I think this was a good choice for the hotel. Of course, we need a double bed. This one here seems to be the one that's the most exciting because look at that, look at that view from there. There's very much pixelated boat there, but that looks great. Yeah, I think we're going to take this, this room. Reserve this suit. So, or sweet? Suit? Sweet? I have no idea how to pronounce this word actually in English, but it's worth 883 simoleons per night. I think we have two nights here. Okay, I need to calculate something. All right, so we would be paying around 1800 simoleons for this vacation on the hotel without even just thinking about the food and everything, which I think is quite okay. If you finished reserving enough hotel suites suits for your party, you may now check in at the hotel desk. Okay, let's go here, check in. All right, Lucy, how are you? Of course, look at that, she's going to build a sand castle. She's, I'm pretty sure, very excited to be here. She's been waiting for this almost an entire year. I think I saved this one on the very first part. I'm not sure now, but yeah, she's been waiting for this a very, very long time. Thanks for checking in. By the way, feeling adventurous? Try the exciting local cuisine at the food stands. 
And Sentastic Lucy has gained a point of creativity uh, skill from making sand castles. Good to know. Um, so Jack would like to learn a new massage. He wants to go on a tour. He wants to get a picture. He wants to learn local gesture and learn the hula dance. That is something that I'd love for him to learn. So we need to keep an eye out for... I think we have some hula dancers that can come and I think they they come around here because the floor is a little bit different than in other places. So we need to keep an eye out for them and hopefully we'll be able to learn that dance. Lucy, what do you want? She wants to perform music for tips. She wants to pull a prank. Well then let's go ahead and pull a prank on Jack. Last time he kind of liked that. Uh, let's go and try the joy buzzer. I don't know if it's like in The Sims 4, if Sims can actually die from the joy buzzer. Oh, look at that, she's excited. She wants to go fishing as well. Can you go fishing in the ocean? Oh my. <laughs> Did you find that funny? I don't think he cared that much. Oh! He pranked her back. Revenge. Okay, can you go fishing? She can get in. Let's go and get into the water. Is there a massage table table over here or do we need to go somewhere else? We'll be traveling to other lots as well, for sure. Try to visit as much as we can. I don't see the hula dancer as well. Maybe they come during the evening. I think I recall them coming more around the evening than they do all the time. And I think this is Angie. Angie Lewis. She's following us everywhere. Oh, Jack is actually sunbathing. I think Sims can also get sunburned. Oh, I didn't see Lucy Lucy in the water. Oh, she's getting fit again. They just keep losing and gaining their fitness back. Okay, get in. How do you feel? She needs to pee and take a shower as well. Look at that, this is actually really pretty. She's enjoying her time here, but she really wants to take a shower. So, what time is it? It's 12 p.m. Okay, so Lucy is going to go ahead, use the, the toilets and take a bath or take a shower. No, she's going to take a shower. Jack, you are a little bit hungry, so maybe you can order some food. Although, are you tanned? I'd like for him to, to be tanned or sunburned, either one of them, before we go anywhere. Because once these two are feeling a little bit better, I would like for them to go on a tour. Because there's the guide just at the, at the front of the lot and we can reserve for something. Like going on a helicopter tour or maybe submarine something. But I really like the fact that he decided to sunbathe on his own. All right, I think Lucy is done taking her shower. Let's have Jack. You know what? He can eat after the, the tour. Let's go and talk to the tour guide. Oh, I think he's stunned. Do you see his face? That's pretty cool. What's cool here? Let's ask what's cool here. Lucy, why are you watching TV? I mean, they don't have a TV at their house, so maybe that makes sense. Look at Jack. He looks so nice with his tan. I don't know how long the tan lasts, though. Let's go and ask what's cool here. And then maybe we can book a tour. Ever wish you could be a pirate? Find the beached ship and raise the jolly roger okay so we need to find this place i don't know where that is glass bottom boat parasailing oh let's do parasailing uh feed your appetite for adventure with this exhilarating parasailing tour it will cost 300 simoleons per person so 600 simoleons overall do you want to go on this tour yes i think we will have the money anyway and let's take Lucy with us. We're going to spend so much money in this vacation. I mean, that, that kind of makes sense after all. This is an island vacation and in real life, island vacations are quite expensive. I'd like to imagine. As soon as the boat peaks up full speed, the rope that connects the boat and the parachute starts tearing and a few seconds later, the parachute is sailing freely. Should the group try to steer the chute or let the wind determine the destination? Steer the parachute, let the wind take control. Steer the parachute. Let's see. The parachute isn't meant to be steered and is pretty much uncontrollable. The group ends up crashing into a storefront, taking out the window and destroying destroying, sorry, the entire layout in the process. The repairs cost 500 simoleons and that brings down the mood for the whole group. I'm sorry. I feel like every time you choose something when you go on a tour, it never ends up well. Ah, it's nice to finally unwind a little. Were you really unwinding right now? This vacation was worth every penny. Look at that! How can you just think that? You feel awful right now. But I know a good way for you both to feel a bit more relaxed. <laughs> Alright, let's see if that works. Let's go ahead and woohoo. Look at that, the fun is going up. The comfort, I'm sure, should be going up soon. 
We should also order for the room, room service. Oh, let's go for a group. Let's go for the berry pie. Do not go to sleep right now. This wasn't fun enough for you two. And someone should turn off this TV. That's why I didn't put a TV in their house because the sound of the TV is so annoying. All right, maybe if Lucy goes here, maybe she can relax. Let's go and sit on the lounge chair and maybe she's going to have fun. She can nap on it because right now she needs comfort and fun. Maybe building a sand castle could be fun as well. Maybe sunbathing, watching the waves. Jackie is really hungry as well. Let's go and get the berry pie. Grab a plate. Is it comfortable? A little, yeah. What if you watch the waves? Would it be fun? I think it would be relaxing. She's thinking about swimming. What if you get in? Can you get in there? Or can't you because it's the night? Oh no, you can but by clicking over here. She can stargaze. Maybe they can stargaze together. Otherwise, you know, they can woohoo once more and have a bit more fun. Or maybe they could travel somewhere just for a couple hours and try to find a hula dancer. And maybe by learning the hula dance, maybe they're going to have some fun. Okay, Lucy, let's go ahead and grab a plate as well. Can we call a taxi from there? Call transportation. We can call the transportation or the taxi. Let's go and call the taxi. Because, okay, they're a little bit tired and they need some comfort. But they also need some fun. And I think by just going somewhere else, we can find something fun for them to do. Look at that, he seems so attracted to her. I mean, these two have, see have seemed so much more in love with each other than at the very beginning of the series. All right, so where do we go? We can go to the ancient ruins of Namchuk, Blossomwood Hotel. Oh, we can go to the other hotels. Double Palm Resort, Fruitville Village, Majestic Ruins, Seawater Beach Paradise. I'd like to find maybe a spa or something so that maybe Jack can learn another. Although, this is not a good idea because once I had my sims go on vacation in Twiki Island and they wanted to learn a new massage, but they didn't have any fun, so I thought maybe by learning a new massage and get receiving that mas massage themselves, maybe their fun is going to go up. But the sims just kept stopping the massage in the middle of it just to complain that they were in need of fun. And I didn't realize that I was spending a, a hundred simoleons each time I had them start a new massage. So I think I spent almost 1200 simoleons just to learn a massage. So maybe not a good idea. Uh, white sand, hot springs, Twiki beach boardwalk. Maybe we should go to this one tomorrow. South End Beach. Come explore the beautiful sand, beautiful sands and waters of the infamous South End Beach where Billius Bob, the pirate, washed ashore while searching for the monkey ruins of Jumbok the Fourth. Oh, this is with the pirate ship. Seawater Beach Paradise. Aching for a place to spend some private time with your significant other or family, Seawater Beach Paradise is the most exotic space on the island, offering a romantic atmosphere, wonderful, f wonderful food, and great entertainment. Well, then I think this place actually could be better and we could go to the the pirate ship tomorrow and to the uh, the Twiki beach boardwalk as well tomorrow. Yeah, let's go to the seawater beach paradise. Lucy and Jack just arrived at this place. I don't remember how it's called. This place is absolutely perfect. I can't wait to come back. Oh, you're here. Oh, is this where we can actually learn the dance? Can Jack learn the dance? Learn fire dance. Yes, let's do that. Hopefully this is going to be fun for you. He wants to go on another tour. Maybe on the third day though, because I would like to explore a bit more tomorrow. Lucy, she wants to go and swim in the ocean. Although right now she's making a sandcastle. I'm going to leave her do because this is working on her fun. Let's focus a bit more on Jack. Let's see how he does. I wonder if you can die from this dance because technically you're playing with fire. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And maybe, you know, once he's learned this dance, maybe when he'll be back to the Maimu studio, he can show it off. At least, you know, he's having fun. He's really tired, but he's having fun. I hope he's going to learn quickly. Is this the bar that shows how quickly he's learning? Hmm. Also, what do they mean by learning the local gesture? When in Pleasant View, do as the Pleasants. Your sim wants to learn a local gesture to fit in with everyone. To learn the gesture, your sim will have to be greeted by a local in a vacation neighborhood. Oh, actually, Talin was about to greet him. How is Lucy? She's relaxing on the lounge chair. But let's get in. Let's go into the water. A midnight swim. And there you go, she's happy now. 
She wants to sunbathe. I will save this one. I'd like to see Lucy with the suntan. I'm just going to leave her swim a little. Okay, so you've improved your dance. He's so tired though. I hope if we leave the dance learning process here, if we come back, we can actually start from where we are right now because he's almost halfway through. Yeah, he's really getting tired. Maybe this is also not helping with how quickly he's learning something. So let's have Lucy call for the taxi and I'm going to have Jack eventually stop learning to dance. But I think we'll come back tomorrow here as soon as they get up, if they feel okay, so that he can continue learning this dance. Plus, you know, it worked on his fun need. Yeah, he's too tired to, to do anything. Oh, look at that. I know you're tired. Uh, we want to go home. Or kind of like home. The hotel anyway. And Lucy doesn't seem to care. She's going to come for, se for seashells. Both Jack and Lucy are up. Lucy was just eating the rest of the of the baked pie that they ordered yesterday. She still needs a lot of fun, but I think uh, because she wants to build sand castle, she wants to sunbathe, she also wants to take a hike, which I think is a pretty cool idea here on the island. Although I don't know if she can actually. Can you take a hike while on vacation? No, I don't think she can, but she can do yoga now. If you intend to take out, you must do so before noon or you will be build for another day okay uh we'll have to do that tomorrow though uh jack is right now calling the cab to go somewhere else we are actually going to go back where we were yesterday evening so that jack can continue learning the hula dance in the meantime i'm going to have lucy build some castle and sunbathe because i want for her to have a nice suntan what is she going to do with jack listen to dirty joke of course he would i th i think these two are very much in a romantic mood on vacation here you know that makes sense as well because they're just the two of them all right so where we, where were we we were at the seawater beach paradise i think yeah, i think that's the one we were at so let's go back there <laughs> get them in the middle of the restaurant just annoying everyone all right so we're back at the beach let's go ahead learn the fire dance lucy you are going to go ahead and sunbathe over here she was once again about to go and build a sand castle she really enjoys doing that she also wants to fish but i don't think you can fish here oh look at this fancy towel i'm just putting sunscreen and there you go, let's get 10. And then I think after that I'm going to have her maybe build some sand castle. This way she can continue working on her creativity skill because that's something apparently that she wants to work on. All right, oh, she's almost learned the dance. It looks strange though that they are on vacation with their normal outfits. Maybe I should have given them, given them something else. Although in The Sims 2 you need to buy your clothes. So it would have been a little bit difficult for them to, you know, at the last minute just change their outfit. If they ever go on vacation again, I will probably think about that hopefully before they go there are definitely way more people than they were yesterday lucy is still sunbathing i hope she didn't get it a sunburn she seems okay for now you almost know how to dance that dance come on look at that he did a perfect one this time and he's not happy why do you know it now what Learn hula dance. Lucy, oh no, she got sunburned. <laughs> Look at her. That is sad. That is really sad. It must hurt though. So bad. I don't know why he didn't learn the hula dance. He just finished the bar and everything. Your sim wants to learn the hula dance. To learn the hula dance, your sim must join another sim who is currently performing the dance. To join the hula dance, click on the sim who is currently dancing and select join hula dance. Okay, so that was in the hula dance. What was I thinking? Anyway, uh, let's go. Let's go and call the taxi. At least you know now he knows how to dance with fire. In any case, uh, we're going to go where we can actually get a massage so that Jack can learn a new massage. Lucy, Lucy, she wants to fish, but I don't think we can fish anywhere. Something though that I'd like to do first before we go and get a massage is go to the, the pirate ship to see what we can do with this ship. Look at her, she's watching the waves. I feel like Lucy is way more calm and relaxed than she was at the very beginning of the series and she's she's appreciating a bit more life. Not that she was very stressed out at first, but I don't know, I, she seems a bit more adult to me. Not as childish as she was before. And I think Jack, even though he still thinks about the future, he enjoys a bit more the present moment. All right, so where was this place? Oh, this is our hotel, okay. We need to go to this one, the South End Beach. 
Let's go there. I'm so sad though for, for Lucy. Oh, and Jack just got a creativity skill point and apparently watching the waves works on the nature hobby. That's probably why she wants to spend so much time on the beach. So the hula dance is what I thought it was, it's not the fire dance. I don't know why I was thinking that by learning the fire dance you could actually learn the hula dance. I don't know, my brain just thought the two dances were the same. But for the hula dance you actually need to, s to wait for a sim to be dancing it. I think at the hotel where I showed you, you know, the, the flooring being a little bit different. So that your sims can actually learn it, just like this muscle. I think that's how it works at least. Lucy and Jack just arrived at the south end beach, so let's see. We have the pirate ship here. I don't think there is any massage tables or anything. How do they feel? Jack is a little bit hungry. Lucy... Lucy needs to use the toilets. And she's actually on her way to explore the pirate ship, just like Jack. Let's see, let's see what they can do with that. Oh no, he's actually just building a sand castle. Well then. Maybe something you can do, Jack, is go here and order some food. Pineapple surprise. Let's go for that. Lucy, let me see what you can find. Can you do something in there? Walk the plank, climb. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go, don't go anywhere. Can you do something to this pirate here? Fence with cutlass. Blunder the captain's cabin. Climb crow's nest. Man the wheel. <gasps> Raise the Jolly Roger. Where is the Jolly Roger? It's right there. It's a rabbit. It's just like the university. And then, can you do something else? Man the wheel. <laughs> Plunder the captain's cabin. Lower the Jolly Roger, no. Climb the crow's nest. I'm really curious to see this one. And fence with cutlass, I don't know what that is. Oh, she's just gonna go in by herself. Uh, where is Jack? He's still eating all by himself. Can you maybe go and talk to someone? He wanted to buy a ring. Oh, hmm, I did not find anything in the captain's cabin. Maybe I should try again. Oh, because you can find something in the captain's cabin. Oh, we can get some souvenirs and we can get some jewelry as well. Although I don't really see Jack being the type to have jewelry. So what's this one? Climb the crow's nest. Oh, that's that then. Well, even though, you know, she seems to have grown up a bit, she's still a little bit a child, you know? And more people are joining. And so now, what is fence with cut cutlass? I have no idea what that is. Oh, she's going to fight this machine. And can you maybe walk the plank? You have just found a clam. You can display it in your home or a garden. Cool. Well, this day at the pirate ship actually take way long took way longer than I thought. But they're not really that tired. Lucy needs to use the bathrooms for sure. <laughs> well, okay then. Uh, let's have Jack maybe call the taxi so that we can go somewhere where we can have a, a massage and learn a massage finally. And I'm going to have Lucy just go ahead and use the toilets because she needs to. And she also needs some hygiene. She's a little bit hungry, but I think where you can find massages, you can also find um, one of those fast food thingies here, like those food stands. I also want for them to, to go on another tour. I think the tours are pretty much always the same. Yes, the one that I'd like for them to try is the bottom glass ship. Uh, so where is white sand hot springs? Hot water has never felt so refreshing. When you step into one of these relaxing hot springs, all of your worries, stress and troubles will surely melt away. After soaking, stop at the food stand for a tasty treat. I think this is the one where you can also have a table massage, or a massage table, I should say. So yeah, let's go to the White Sand Hot Springs. What? I saw this guy here. It's the charlatan. Except that he's wearing a local outfit with his top hat. <laughs> can recognize him pretty well. Was he about to try and get Lucy's money? Nope. It's not working. Lucy and Jack just arrived at the Hot Springs, so... Uh, Jack seems to be feeling okay. There is the table massage here, or massage table. Let's go ahead and learn the stone massage. It's 500 simoleons. It's even more than what I remember. Lucy, you are a little bit hungry, so I'm going to have you order some teriyaki, mahi-mahi, I guess. Oh, there's the, the hammock. 
as well. But I think if Lucy goes into the, the hot springs, this is going to take care of her hygiene as well. Is there a sauna? Yes, there is. I think Sims can actually woohoo in the sauna, so I might maybe have them go into the sauna. Oh, you can play in outfits and change outfits in there. Although there are some surveillance cameras. Can they? Can Sims woohoo in those cabins? I'm not sure. He wants to reach the level 7 of creativity. He's level 6 already. Oh, you need body skill and logic as well. Charisma. Yeah, creativity, he's pretty high. But we'll need to work on his body skill once more. Maybe he should go swimming a little bit more because this seems to be working on the body skill and this is fun. All right, so Lucy, I think ate enough. Let's go into the hot springs with this guy, Jim Reeves. I wonder how long it takes for a sim to learn a massage. What's this? Oh, it's the charlatan. Apparently he followed them. But I'm really glad to see that both Jack and Lucy are actually feeling great. Oh, what is this? Congratulations, your sim has learned how to perform a new massage type. This massage can be given to other sims if you purchase a massage table for your home. Cool! Maybe we could get one eventually. Uh, but Jack, you want to use the toilets, so let's go ahead and do so. And I think he's going to go ahead and use the sauna. Yeah, the hot spring seems to be working a little bit on the hygiene. Not as much as I thought, but in any case, we have some showers there. But I think their energy is not lowering as fast as it usually is because they are on vacation. Oh no, you do not get attacked by the charlatan. But I'm sure that Lucy, even though you know she has her turn, her back turned on Jack getting into the sauna, she kind of saw him go into the sauna, so she's going to join him. Because as I said, you know, as we saw actually since the very beginning of this part and ever since they got here, together in this tricky island. They've been feeling very romantic and they just want to spend time together, although she's so red. And I don't think they're going to be as careful as they should, so let's go ahead and try for baby with Jack. Maybe you know it was not planned because they actually haven't had the conversation that I've been talking about for quite a while now. So let's see what happens. <gasps> well, there you go. <laughs> oh, actually, they get a memory. Did public woohoo with Jack. Trying on clothes is more fun than I thought. Well, you know, the bigger the risk, the bigger the thrill. You weren't really trying on the clothes. You just have a towel on you. And she does have a memory of swimming in the ocean. I didn't know that. There's just nothing better than taking a dip in the ocean while on vacation. Great memories. But yeah, I think... Uh, because they're going to go back home tomorrow, so I think in the next part Lucy might give birth. Although right now I don't think they know yet that they're expecting, but they will have to have this conversation eventually. Although, Lucy, you really need to take a shower. They're getting a little bit tired, it's 2 in the morning. Maybe they should think about heading back home and sleep a little bit, because I would like for them too to go on another tour. And I'd like for them also to be at the hotel so that we could see if there is a hula dancer somewhere. Alright, let's have Lucy call the taxi and we are going to go back home, or back to the hotel at least. I'm actually really excited, I have been planning this out for I think a couple weeks now for these two. I think it's going to make things a bit more interesting and a bit more challenging as well. But since there's going to be a new addition to the family, if you have any baby name suggestions, either boy or girl, just let me know in the comments because I have no idea how to name their baby. Oh, what is this? Are they going to dance together? Is that a hula dancer? Oh no, we missed it. <gasps> join the hula. Let's forget about the taxi. Let's forget about the taxi, I said. We can call one back. Let's go and join the hula. I think this is how you would learn. There you go. Okay, he learned the hula dance. Let's go home now. All right, so it's the next morning. Lucy's needs are going to go down very quickly now that she's pregnant. It's going to be awful to take care of her. Her energy actually really struggles to go up and she woke up twice in the middle of the night to eat something. But other than that, everything is in the green and I will try to keep it that way for hopefully the entire length of her pregnancy, I hope. Jack, on the other hand, is just feeling amazing and of course he turned on the TV. But I think we need to check out before noon so that we won't have to pay for another night in the room that we won't spend in, if that makes any sense. So, can we check out? Oh, look at that, it's going to be even more expensive than I thought. But just because we actually ordered some food, so 
Let's go and check out. Lucy needs to sleep a little bit, but she can maybe take a nap on the lounge chairs over there. And we could also have some food from the restaurant. Or maybe just go and get some quick food from the food stands on other lots. But right now I'm just waiting for the, the tour guide because I would like for them to go on another tour before they go home because this is their last day of vacation and I want for them to enjoy it as much as possible. I don't know how much money we've spent on this vacation but I think it's close to 5,000 simoleons. This is so expensive. Also, something that I haven't talked about yet is that I've started building a new house for these guys, which I think is going to suit them a bit more. And now that there is a new addition in the family coming, I think this house that I'm building currently is going to be a little bit better for them. But in The Sims 2, since when you play on a lot, the, the seasons evolve on this lot, but not on the others. If we have Jack and Lucy move out right now, they're going to go from the very beginning of summer to the very end of summer in just one day, which to me doesn't really make sense and I'd like to enjoy a bit more summer, so I think as soon as their baby's born, because pregnancy I think in The Sims last for three days, will be towards the end of summer and this is when I'm going to have them move house, so this way we would continue on with the seasons naturally, you know, as we would have without having moving out, if that makes any sense. That wasn't really English, but I'm sure you understand what I mean. So I think they're going to stay in their house just for the pregnancy and the birth and then I'm going to have them move house and I'm really excited for this one and hopefully Hopefully we'll, add, we'll have a bit more money. Is everyone dancing the hula there? Yes, they are. Can we join? Dance together. Let's go and join the hula dance. He's still in his robe though. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that was a fear of his to be rejected. Join the hula, that's what I wanted. Do you have a memory actually of learning the hula? Yes, he does. He learned the hula dance. I have learned the hula dance that the island people practice moving slowly like the waves. Oh, the memories. And I don't see the, the tour guide. I don't know why. Do we need to go somewhere else maybe to see him? Because he really wants to go on another tour. Does Lucy... Yes, she does have the memory as well of having learned the hula dance. She also wants to go in the ocean, so let's have her go in there. Let's get in if we can. I don't think she can get into... Oh, yeah, there you go. I thought because she's pregnant, maybe she cannot get into the ocean anymore, but that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. And let's have Jack... Uh, oh, we cannot travel anywhere anymore. <laughs> Oh, maybe I shouldn't have cancelled the the hotel so quickly. Oh, well, I just didn't want to pay for another day. So they cannot go on another tour. That sucks. But at least, you know, they've learned the hula dance. They, they've been to the pirate ship. They've enjoyed time together. They've gotten massages. I think they had a good time here. Oh, Jack, you know what you should do? Let's go and get in. Let's work on your body skill here in the ocean. Because look at that, Lucy has gained a point in body skill from swimming. And she wants to make an espresso. Can you- Oh, she's really tired. Can you make an espresso here? Is there an espresso machine? Yes, there is. Let's go and make an espresso. Jack, come on, get into the ocean and swim. I'm sure it's because he's lazy. He doesn't want to go and swim. No, stay in, stay in. Continue to swim in the ocean. Just continue working on your body skill. Did you get your espresso? Yes, she does. She has. And she's taking a nap right now. I know, take a nap, take a nap. She's going to be unbearable for the next few days. Well, Jack doesn't want to stay in the ocean. Lucy is in an awful mood. She needs to sleep. So what I'm going to have them do is just end the vacation. After all, they cannot really do anything if they're not checked in in a hotel. And I didn't want for them to spend another 800 simoleons. I didn't know that it was actually just going to cancel everything. So yeah, let's go ahead and end the vacation through the phone. And I'm going to have them go back home. And hopefully we won't have to pay too much for the, for the babysitter. Jack and Lucy are arriving back home and we we get to choose, I think, another trait or something like that. So we can choose up to three. Carefree, with this reward, your sim will enjoy the bene benefit of an additional want slot. With this reward, you will be carefree in no time. Refreshed, everything is always easier when you get back from a great vacation. With this reward, your sim will have a bonus gain in skill building and badge building activities. Also, this sim will be able to complete homework faster. This this one definitely for Jack because he really struggles with his body skill. Productive. With this reward, your sim will want to spend less time slacking off after having such a good vacation. Their comfort, social, and fun needs will take much longer to decay. That's interesting. I think this one would be great for Lucy. Uh, je ne sais quoi. Give your sim that something extra special that other sims will notice. Romantic pursuits should be easier with this benefit. Don't really see this one being beneficial in any case with these two because they're very much in love. Industrious. With this benefit, your sim 
your sim will be a star at the workplace. High job performance and therefore promotions will be much easier to achieve. Let's get that one. Forgiving. With this benefit, your sim will be much harder to annoy. Sim, any sims that you were furious with will be forgiven and negative relationships will take longer to build. No, I actually kind of like the carefree more. And so let's say for Lucy, I think the productive one would be great. I also want for her the industrious one. I think the refreshed one would be great. Although she seems to be working pretty great on her skills anyway. I think the carefree and the productive one for Lucy would be great because she needs more s one slot. So let's go for that for Lucy and yeah, he gets a new one anyway. What is going on in there? Wasn't the nanny supposed to take care of Diego? She didn't do anything. Okay, we need to dismiss her. Poor Diego. And she turned on the radio. What did you do? Turn off and dismiss. The nannies in The Sims 2 are just awful. So what I'm gonna do guys is just end this part here. Hopefully Lucy won't be too much of a handful and <laughs> she's going to feel a lot better soon. But I think those vacations went really great. I'm really happy with how it went. Except for the last day, I was really hoping that we could go on a last tour but I didn't know that by cancelling the, the reservation at the hotel it would just cancel everything else and that you couldn't travel anywhere so yeah I'm a little bit upset about that but yeah don't forget to give me some baby name suggestions for next time because I have no idea what name to choose look at Lucy she's exhausted she can barely open her eyes <laughs> that's really sad but yeah I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video I really had a lot of fun going on this vacation so thank you so much for watching this video and I will talk to you in the next one bye everyone